Hi everyone, welcome to the third episode of CEO 100 Able's Pre-Resurrection Sunday Let's Plays 2018. In this episode, I am playing a PlayStation 2 game called LEGO Island Extreme Stunts. I made a Let's Play of the PC version of this game over five years ago, back in January 2013. And since I have the PlayStation 2 version also, I'm gonna make a video about this version, too. So let's wait for the game to load. This is one of my all-time favorite LEGO video games. It is also one of my all-time favorite non-Humongous Entertainment games, along with Metal Madness 1, Metal Madness 2, Monster Truck Madness 1, Monster Truck Madness 2, 4x4 Evolution, 4x4 Evil 2, and Capitalist 4x4 Off-Road Adventure 1. Alright, here's the title screen. Right here, it started at a completely different camera angle from Space Mountain. So in this version, we're going to play some mini games and have some fun in them. So now let's load a, a save game file. Alright, um, as you can see, I have already completed almost everything in this game. DIY Home and Garden. Jack of Trades has the lot. By the way, I had to switch my PlayStation 2 memory card since I forgot that my game save file, or save game file, rather, is only on my second PlayStation 2 memory card. And now I'm having some fun skateboarding with pepperoni. Now let's do the pizza delivery minigame. Hey, say, have you got time to deliver some pizzas for me? Oh yes, I I'm ready. I know you're a busy stuntman now, but you're still the fastest. What do you say, eh? All right, pizza, my boy. let's do it. Here are the pizzas, and make sure you get them all delivered before they go cold. Don't forget to use the arrow to direct you to the delivery spot. Fast as you can. All right. Here we go. As you can see, um, we have to deliver 20 pizzas. However, we don't have to deliver all of them, but let's see what we can do. So we have to follow the arrow to the first customer. That's the Super Station Master. Yep, Super Station Master. That's his name. Now I wanna go on foot. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to manage how you control the skateboard. And now I'm back on the skateboard because it's really fun. Whoops. Alright. The second pizza has been delivered to the Brickster. Let's avoid this pond right here. Alright. Another pizza has been delivered to uh, the hospital. Let's keep following the arrow and delivering the rest of the pizzas. Or should I say the other pizzas? I 
I also like doing skateboard stunts. This is the LEGO Weather Center. Now I have to cross the river. Storms and rain. That means oh, I'll have kidding. to swim across it's it. Be sunny again. Now we can use the skateboard again, since we're on the other side of the river now. The next pizza will be delivered to Lego Studios, and I took care of that just now. Alright, let's keep going. I want to do, um, a stunt on this, the edge of the wall. That was so cool! Oh yeah. That pizza has been delivered to Lucky Larry. And that's Rotahog. Her pizza has been delivered as well. We're now halfway through. That's Liam Lentz. Now let's climb up Space Mountain to deliver the next pizza. Well, since I hit the edge of the cliff, it slowed me down. But I still managed. And that's Technician Bob. His pizza has been delivered. And that's the director. Who is standing in front of the hotel. Alright. The skateboard stunts and tricks are really fun. I did it on the, again on the edge of the wall, Don't you know, the skateboard Studios, trick. You won't be allowed in. Lots of secret filming for the latest movie, so stay away. Actually, it was just a stunt. The skateboard parks are always fun. Now again, sometimes the skateboard is hard to manage. So I had to go on foot again for a second. Oh no, we're right now time. Back to the hospital. Now for this very last pizza, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. There's less than 10 seconds remaining on the clock. Can I make it? No, I'm a little bit too late. Oh well, other than that, it was still successful. Well done, my boy! Thank that you, Mama Bricolini. Delivery! There's always work here for a boy like you. Great. Now let's do something else. Let's have some more fun on the skateboard. What else do I really want to do here? I know, let's go see Jackal Trades and help him with delivering the groceries. 
When the radio announced the new movie being made here, my customers just dropped their bags and ran off to watch. Can you help me deliver their bags? Sure, Great. I'll do it. You can take my car unless you think skateboards are cooler. Actually, that car is from the rescue headquarters, but we'll go ahead and use it anyway. I have already completed the minigame where you have to uh, cross a river with with jackal traits, so I'm able to do this minigame. And now I no longer need the rescue headquarters car. Even though it has already disappeared, I have returned it to where it really belongs. Alright, that bag of groceries has been delivered to Brian Shrimp, the guy who is in that, under a bushel. Our light is that barrel tower. on that tiny the island. Ships to Lego island. Kind of like Sesame. Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. But there's only a, a hole where his, one of his eyes can see from there. Only one of Brian Shrimp's eyes are shown. Alright, that bag of groceries has been delivered to DJ Jacket, the guy who sometimes speaks on the radio. That's Red Green Base. This pizza machine is really out of control. There's Lucky Larry again. I'll collect that brick and ball, along with a few others, since I haven't done it on this profile yet. There's less than 10 seconds remain on the clock again. There we go! That bag of groceries has been delivered to Penelope Puff at Lego Studios. Now let's keep going. Now again, we don't have to deliver exactly everything, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, actually, there's less than 10 seconds remain on the clock already. And time is up. I've only delivered seven bags of groceries, but Thanks otherwise it was still successful. Whenever you pass, You're like welcome. You always do some help. All right. Oh, how about this? The trouble in store mini game at Jackal Trades Building. There's trouble in store. I'm glad you're here. I need to move some boxes around. You have to push the boxes onto the colored squares. It is hard to push them, but you are a strong boy. Remember that you can't pull them. You can only push. Good luck. You can do it. All right. I'll help you out with all that stuff. All right. We're pushing the boxes around. Wait a minute, I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, so let's try again. That blue box needs to go onto the blue tile, while the yellow box needs to go onto the yellow tile. I'm afraid.
afraid I'm still not doing this the right way. One more time might do it. This time I'll move the boxes carefully. I'm only playing one level of this minigame in this video. Alright, I've put that yellow box in place. By the way, Pepper's animations in this minigame were reused from Lego Island to The Brickster's Revenge. Because it was developed by Silicon Dreams, the same developer as this game. Alright, all the boxes have been put in place. That wasn't too hard after all. I'm not gonna play any more levels. I'm just gonna return to the island. Still loading. The load screens seem to be slower in this version than in the PC version for some reason. Alright, we're back. Let's go have some more fun. I actually want to talk to a few people, like Skylane. I noticed Nick Brick taking photos. With such an old camera, he's never going to get the focus and zoom necessary. Right. My X1000 series has a 60 times super zoom lens, which is much better. That's really cool. Here's Liam Lentz again. Let's talk to him. I haven't had a holiday for years. Maybe the director will let me have one, one day. Probably. The quality of the light here is phenomenal. It never seems to change. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sound like an the Australian, by the right, way. Which he is. I've had a really pleasant time with DJ Jacket. It was even work-related. We were discussing the film soundtrack. Oh yeah, you know, I wish the music composers of this game released all the music tracks no. of, as an official uh, soundtrack. I don't think I'll catch anyone out with my false flower that squirts water. Hmm. How about a handshake? But no. So I can't surprise you with my hand buzzer. All right. What else? Jack of Trades has done his homework. He has an excellent supply of lint-free cloths, just right for cleaning camera lenses. That's pretty useful. Shh, Pepper. I'm trying to record ambient sounds for dubbing into the film. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't see you using any of your oh, audio I recording equipment. Back and enjoying the sunshine. Oh yeah, if you're really Australian, then I bet you love the outback sunshine. Yeah, these robots that are supposed to be helping us seem willfully incompetent. Hmm. <laughs> Very true. Now let's go meet someone else. Like Nancy Nubbins. Howdy, Pepper. I just got the plans for a showroom. Soon I'll be able to sell cars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Need some gas, Pepper? Or have you just wandered in for a gas? No, thank you. Why does that sentence end with a period anyway? I hear a no. giant hand comes out of the sky, grabs you, changes your legs, body, or head, and then returns you to the island. Not really. 753 plus 
812 is 1565. Sorry, Pepper, I'm doing the accounts at the moment. Can you come back later? I will, but what else do you have to I say? Hope someone will break down soon. I love riding to the rescue in the tow truck, yellow lights flashing. Sounds like fun. I like listening to country and western. Lovely homeless songs and easy to sing mm -hmm. along to. I like listening I to both genres as well. Track permanent. Nick Brick says that driving violations have gone down now that Rhoda and Stutz race on the track more than they race on the roads. Mm -hmm. You have a nice Cows southern are accent. Fantastic creatures. You get leather, suede, and delicious steaks from them. Mm -hmm. cool. Have you thought about what sort of car you want to drive? Well, when I have my showroom built, you'll be able to choose from a wide selection of well-known automobiles. How about a classic Ford Mustang Fastback? You learn a musical instrument, Pepper. <laughs> it's a great way to relax. Mama plays the piano, and I play the guitar. We need someone on bass or drums. Cool. How to pe all right. I think that's all Nancy has to say. Let's talk to one more person. Lucky Larry. <laughs> oh man, God bless I you, I Lucky Larry. The cold. That's something I'm good at. Oh boy. Oh, what why happened? Why do they call it a funny bone? Clonking isn't funny. It's painful. They should call it the painful bone. Good point. Don't come near me. I might have something contagious. Or you might. <laughs> Keep away. Don't worry. I didn't even when move I one feel inch. Fine, it makes me worried. As I just know something unlucky is going to happen. That sounds bizarre. Daytime television has improved so much. Mm -hmm. Soaps are more interesting than the test card. <laughs> they say too much of a good thing can be bad for you. Uh -huh. That's not true with my luck. Oh, wow. My eyes hurt. I think I've been watching too much television. Oh, boy. I read a veterinary book, and I'm sure that I have tangle ear, even though it's only found in sheep. That sounds unusual. I'm sick of grapes. Every time I'm in hospital, somebody gives me grapes. Grapes are healthy, you know. Can you believe it? I tore my Achilles tendon putting on a sock. No. I am such a klutz. That's really odd. I will admit, when I played the PC version of this game, I found Lucky Larry's voice clips funny. Just for fun, let's go through this tunnel. Let's go on to that edge of the wall on the, this bridge again. There we go. I've tried to go on here a few times, but it wasn't successful at first. Oh, Pepper fell off, so let's try again. Fruits and vegetables, bread and milk, letters and parcels. For all your groceries, plus local and international post, use Margaret Patricia's Post Grocery Store and Post Office. How about we play a freeway frenzy? It's really fun. Sorry about that, I had to make a cut there because I already tried to play this minigame in gold, but I... I wasn't able to finish it successfully, so now I'm doing it in bronze instead, because it's easier. The first scene to shoot is a high-speed pursuit through the bustling streets of the city. That sounds like Pepper, fun. You must ram the bad guy's car into submission before he beats you to the finish line. I want to see some daredevil action and car crunching collisions. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the repair trucks along the way. You'll need the extra health. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. Just testing controls here. Now let's press the start button to begin the mini game. Here we go. 
let's get on with the mini game. Go. I just picked up the damage power up. And now I'm blasting the siren. But this is a regular car, not a police car. This minigame, in my opinion, is the Lego version of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. In case you're curious, yes, I remember playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 when I was a kid. I have it for the PC, PlayStation 2, and Nintendo GameCube. No, I won't stop it. I still want to damage your car. Siren is always fun to listen to. For some reason it's called a horn, even though it actually plays a police car siren sound effect. That stun ramp was cool, the one with the semi truck. Still catch you, Rickster. Alright, this is really fun. The turbo power up. Alright, that was fun. In my Let's Play at the PC version of this game, I put in BBC as the score to make things quick, but this time, I'll just put in the first three letters of my YouTube channel username. Sound effect well is different done. here. That sure was some fancy driving. We've got it in the can. Take a look at the rushes. All right. This will be fun. Watching the replay. Awesome. I already earned the bronze LAFTA in this mini game, so I wasn't able to see it again. Oh well, it was still really fun. At least, a lot of the minigames here can be replayed. And now we're all done with the minigames in this video. Alright, now that we're back on the island, let me save my game progress. Currently, the score is 89.64%. Now, let me see if the score has increased. 89.69% Very impressive Now let's go back to the main menu Well, that'll be it for this episode I will be back in episode 4 Goodbye for now everybody And that's about it